This screencast covers the material in Lesson 8 of Module 6, where we generate a number pattern, given a rule, and plot the points. This is based upon the uh, problem set, and it corresponds closely to the homework, so it should be very helpful. Okay, let's read the problem. It says, create a table of three values for x and y, such that each y-coordinate is three more than the corresponding x-coordinate. What does that mean? Well, what it means we're going to take x and we're going to add 3 to it to get y. So I'm going to write the expression y equals x plus 3. Let's pick some values. Uh, if x is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, so y is 3. So the ordered pair is 0, 3. 4 for x, you'd get 7 for y, when we have 4 and 7 as our ordered pair. And finally, I'll pick, say, 8. 8 plus 3 is 11, so our ordered pair is 8, 11. Now let's plot the points. 0, 3 goes on the y-axis because the x value is 0. 4, 7, go up to 4 and plot it on the 7 in the y-axis. And finally, 8 and 11. Now once again, I'm going to remind you that when you plot these values for the sake of this module, they should all lie on a straight line. And if you don't end up with a straight line, you have done something wrong. Now I'm going to connect these, and again, you should use a straight edge. I, again, have not figured out how to do that on my iPad. And we get this straight line here. I can put an arrow on that. It says plot each point. We've done that. We've also uh, you, uh, uh, use a straight edge to draw the line connecting the points. Now we need to find values for two other points that fall in this line with x coordinates greater than 12. Well, it's simply we apply the rule here, right? So I need to choose an x greater than 12. Let's, uh, let's make it uh, 20. And 20 plus 3 is 23. So what that means is if we extended this line further and made our graph great, uh, bigger, this would fall on the line, the same line that these values do. And again, we can pick any value we like greater than 12. And this time I'll pick uh, 25. 25 plus 3 is 28. And again, that point, 25, 28, would fall on this line if we extended it well beyond what we have uh, pictured in this problem. In the second problem, we're asked to do something a little bit different. It says create a table of three values for x and y such that each y-coordinate is three times as much as the corresponding x-coordinate. That means we're going to take our x-value and multiply it by three. I like to write the expression y equals 3x. Uh, that's the same as x times 3. And we'll simply uh, start with a value. I like to start with 0 when I'm multiplying because 3 times 0 is 0. So we know that that line is going to pass through the origin. Our ordered pair is 0, 0. I'm going to uh, work with values that I know are going to stay on this graph. So uh, I'm going to try 2. And 2 times 3 is 6. So the second ordered pair is 2, 6. And again, you can choose other values. And now I'm going to go for 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. That's just going to stay on that uh, graph that we have to the right. So let's uh, graph the points. And there's our origin, 0, 0. We have 2 and 6. And I have 4 and 12. And I'm just going to reiterate that message. You should be uh, creating points that will form a straight line. If not, you've done something wrong. And again, we should be using a straight edge. I haven't found a way to make that work with this. So there we go. We've used a straight edge. We now have plotted the points. Now it says, give the coordinates of two other points that fall on this line with a y coordinate greater than 25. So we need to multiply something times 3 to get an answer greater than 25. So let's try 10. 10 is easy to work with. 10 times 3 is 30. That works because uh, the y coordinate 30 is greater than 25. We can do another one. Let's do 12 
and you can pick any values you'd like for x. And 3 times 12 is 36. In this next one, we're going to do uh, something more complex yet. It says create a table of five values for x and y such that each coordinate, each y coordinate, is one more than three times as much as the x value. So what does that mean? We're going to have to take our x, multiply it by three, then add one. Let's write an expression. So y would equal 3x plus 1. All right, let's pick some values here. Uh, let's, let's start with 0. So I have 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So I have an order pair of 0, 1. Let's uh, go with uh, 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we have 2, 7. Uh, let's do... And you can let's do four. And again, we can pick any value. Four times three is twelve. Plus one is thirteen. And we'll try. Let's say five. Five times three is fifteen. Plus one is sixteen. And if we go with six, six times three is eighteen. Plus one is nineteen. That's going to fit on that grid. So let's complete this chart with our ordered pairs. Now we need to plot our points. 0, 1 is plotted on the y-axis. 2, 7, and we need to count carefully, 2 and 7. And again we should expect our lines to, or our uh, points to form what becomes a straight line. And now I have 4 and 13. I have 5 and 16, and I have 6 and 19. And again, if we use our straight edge, we can see that indeed we end up with a straight line. So that's uh, the task here. Again, it's a little bit more complex, but nonetheless, when we chart these values, we have a straight line. It says graph the lines on the plane. Now we have a series of expressions. We're going to graph all these lines on our coordinate plane. So if we have y is equal to x. So I, if I have, for example, 0 for x, I'll have 0 for y. And if I have 5 for x, I'll have 5 for y. And if I have 10 for x, I'll have 10 for y. Let's plot the points for line L. We have 0, plot that at the origin, 5 and 5, and we have 10 and 10. Once again, using a straight edge, we create a straight line, and we'll label that L. Now we have M is one more than x. Well, m, uh, y equals x plus 1. So we'll choose some values. I have 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. I'll have 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. And we'll do 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. We'll now fill in our ordered pairs and then graph our points. I have 0 and 1, and I have 5 and 6, I have 10 and 11. And what do we notice here? Notice that we've formed a pair of parallel lines. And now we have line N, Y is one more than twice x, so y equals 2x plus 1. Let's try 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, uh, so 0 and 1. Let's choose 5. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 5 and 11. 
and finally we'll choose I uh, can't go too high here. I don't want to go beyond my 15 here, so let's choose a 7. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. That puts us right at the edge. And we have 7 and 15. So I have 0 and 1, same point as the uh, starting point of uh, M here. And then I have 5 and 11. And I have 7 and 13, 7 and 15 rather. And if we plot these, we will see that we again have a straight line. Now we have some questions to answer about that. It says, which two lines intersect? Well, that would be line N, oh, wrong tool, N and M. Where do they intersect? They intersect at the y-axis, uh, y so the value at which they intersect is 0 and 1. Next it asks which two lines are parallel, and those would be lines M and L. And L is really the label for that line right there. Now it asks us to give a rule for another line that would be parallel to the lines you listed in C. Okay, we need to go back to C. We were parallel to M and L. Well, let's look at the rules here. We had x equals y and x equals one more than y. So what do we need to do? We need to add one to our y. And I see that my annotation here is not very clear. It's, it is y equals x plus 1. Okay, so if x equals y and y equals x plus 1, what am I doing to here? I'm adding, right? So I'm adding x plus 1. What if I added x plus 2? Let's give it a shot. y equals x plus 2. I encourage you to actually try this out. So let's get some ordered pairs here. So I have uh, 0 for x, and y would be 2. We'll have 5 for x, and y would be 7. And we'll have 10 for x, and y would be 12. Let's see what happens with that line. So I have 0 and 2. It's looking promising. I have 5 and 7. I have 10 and 12. So again, we end up with another line that is parallel, so that rule would work.